Hi, welcome to the Look Effortless YouTube channel. Hey ladies, my name is Beatrice and today I'm going to talk to you about winter jackets and coats. So, shopping for a winter jacket or coat literally depends on your personal style, what you like and what you don't like. I'm only here to provide some tips to make the process easier. I'll discuss some of the jackets available in store at the moment. Whilst researching on some of the jackets and coats that are available on the market today, I thought to myself, what's the difference between a jacket and a coat? So let me tell you the difference. This is a jacket. Why is it a jacket? Because it's waist length. Anything that's, I guess, waist length and high up is known as a jacket. This is a coat. Why? Because it's past the waist and it reaches quite close to your knees, above or below. I really love this coat. The colour is so lovely. I remember I bought a coat from Next a few years ago. It's a bit lighter than this. And I still have it. <laughs> this grey coat is also the same thing as this. Um, but it's for somebody that's quite tall. It's called tall. It's called tall on Next. Um, so when you're ordering, you can also check for petite, regular or tall. Um, so the length of the arms is longer and the length of the jacket is longer. But check out the grey colour though, isn't it nice? It's like a murky grey, it's got, it's got elements of dark grey in it. So this next coat that I have to show you is by Hobbs London. I really like this collar. It reminds me of a mandarin collar, it's quite high up. I really love the length of this coat. It's a bit longer than this one. I'll try it on for you so you can see. I really like this coat. I would say it's more formal. So if you have somewhere formal to go, or you want to wear it to the office in the city or wherever it is you may work, I really like the length of this coat. The, the pockets are invisible. So are the buttons. And the collar, of course. If you're not someone that likes to wear a scarf, this is perfect for you. I like this coat. I don't know if I would own one myself. It's, I would say it's more of a casual coat. I, I've seen quite a lot of young girls wear this coat. It's called a teddy coat, <laughs> literally looks like a teddy bear and it's so warm. This will definitely get you through the winter months. I really like this length. This is also double breasted, but there are variations of it with the single buttons and the shorter versions, which is actually a jacket. And this colour is quite flattering. This is one of my fave winter colours as well. Actually, this is one of my fave colours, regardless of the season. Now, let's move on to jackets. Jackets, jackets, jackets. This was my first jacket that I purchased this year and I got it when it was still very hot, so I was really wishing for the winter to come. I love this jacket. It sold out. Um, <laughs> when I first bought it at full price, I was in love. I thought I got a really good bargain and then two weeks later I went on sale. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available, but I'll show you how it looks. It reminds me of like a velour type tracksuit, if you remember. And um, it's so warm, like extremely warm. All you need is a scarf because it has no collar. And it looks quite cool. <laughs> and it feels amazing. They have added a leather detail to the zip area. I really do like these stripes that they've put on the cuffs and on the collar. And it's a bomber jacket. I love a bomber jacket. And finally, I have a final jacket 
which is by Superdry, which is one of my favourite puffer jacket brands. It has double, a double zip. This is what they usually do with their jackets, whereby you have a zip on the outside and you have one on the inside. Now, for this jacket, I got my exact size. However, I feel it's quite snug. It's not as thick as the regular puffer jacket. I can't guarantee this will see you through the winter. However, it's cute. <laughs> it is a bit more pricier than the regular puffer jacket that you'll see in maybe Zara or H&M. But I really do like the colour. This is something that will take you a few years as well. However, you'll probably be able to get away with it on just until the really, really cold season. And the hood is pretty handy as well. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Winter Jackets and Coats. I hope you enjoyed it and hope it helped you make your decision as to where you want to shop for your next winter jacket or coat. Thank you for watching. Please like, thumbs up, share and subscribe and we promise to keep it 100.